Just as a reminder, T cells are activated by a process that requires three sequential signals. We previously discussed how two medications, Bilatisept and Basiliximab, affect signals two and three respectively. Steroids have represented the mainstay of immunosuppressive therapy since the beginning of clinical transplantation, and the receptor steroid complex acts as a transcription factor and causes inhibition of NF-kappa B, which globally dampens the inflammatory response. Side effects of long-term steroid use include hyperglycemia and diabetes, weight gain, poor wound healing, adrenal suppression, and bone loss. Antimetabolites suppress lymphocyte proliferation by reducing the rate of de novo purine synthesis, preventing nucleotide synthesis and DNA transcription. Azathioprine is a purine analog that undergoes hepatic conversion to 6 mercaptor purine, which inhibits DNA synthesis. Mycophenolic acid inhibits IMP dehydrogenase and blocks purine synthesis. There normally is a salvage pathway for GMP production in most cell types. However, this pathway does not exist in lymphocytes. Side effects include leukopenia and GI symptoms of diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Serolimus, or rapamycin, and everolimus are derived from a bacterial macrolide and act on the mammalian target of rapamycin, or mTOR, leading to decreased IL-2 production. Serolimus has less nephrotoxicity compared to calcineurin inhibitors. Side effects include poor wound healing, including risk of fascial dehiscence. Cyclosporin and tacrolimus are two calcineurin inhibitors which disrupt regulatory T cell signaling and lead to a downregulation of IL-2 production. Calcineurin is responsible for cleaving the phosphate bound to NFAT, which in its activated form promotes transcription of IL-2. Both of these medications are metabolized by the P450 system. Side effects of calcineurin inhibitors include the 8Hs and 3Ns. This includes hirsutism, hyperplasia, hypertension, hyperglycemia, hyperlipidemia, hyperkalemia, hypomagnesemia, and hyperuricemia. The three ends include nephrotoxicity, neurotoxicity, and neoplasia.